Okay, so in addition to the grouping operators, we can also use the two parallel algorithm to deal with these uh, binary operations, like join, union, as well as difference among two relations. So given two relations R and S, we can calculate the join as well as union between them, right? And we can also calculate the difference between R and S when finding the two parts which exist in R only. So with the two parts algorithm, we can achieve these operations very easily, I mean, in a very similar way, actually. So the general idea to achieve these uh, binary operations with, with the two parts algorithm is to sort in this R and S first, and then do the right thing. So we can have a close look at these operations with the two parts algorithm. So formula given to relation R and S, we can split this R into rounds of, M's, of size M, it will be similar to the previous pages, right? We can load the two poles into blocks, and I mean, we need to ensure each side, and each time we can load n blocks into the memory, right? It will be similar for S, we can also split this S into size of M as well, and load it into the memory. So the cost for step one will be about 2BR plus 2BS, right? Because we have to load all the blocks in both R and S into the memory to do the sorting as well as do the writings of the sorting results, right? For step one, as to step two, we can merge all the two poles or X runs from relation R as well as merge all the Y runs from relation S. So we can merge them together. Also, when we do the merging process, we can also output the two poles on a case by case basis. So we can find the union as well as join between two relations and we can also find the unique instances or two poles which exist in R only and don't exist in S. So according to the specific operation we are working on, we can find the target results in the merging process, right? And of course, we have a requirement. We need to ensure all the X blocks or X runs uh, from R and S should be the sum of them is no greater than M of the size of the memory, right? Okay, so in the merge process, we can do the union difference and join between two relations effectively. So the general cost for the, this operation based on two parts algorithm will be about 3BR plus 3PS, right? Here for step one, we have 2BR plus 2PS. And for the merging process, we also have 1BR plus 1PS, right? So the total cost will be shown here. And we also have an assumption that so the BR, the size of BR plus the BS will be no greater than the M squared, right? Because here for the mergers, we have to know the tuples or blocks from both the relation R and the relation S concurrently into the memory. We need to ensure the size of R and S is no greater than the M squared. So this is to do the binary operation with the two parts algorithm we showed before in a similar way and the algorithm will be very similar and the main difference will be now in the step two in the merging process we have to do some operations according to the target we are working on right we can find the union difference as well as the joins according to the requirements in the merging process all right so this is about binary operations and besides this operation we have covered already we can also use this two parts algorithm to do the joins between two relations as well which will be shown in the next page and we can discuss them in the details in the following lecture